Cylinder and cylinder. That's not bod. <laughs> Other things we do, man. Okay. What is this? I can tell you it's linked with Formula One. What is it? Look, it's got a spark plug. Oh, if it's got a spark plug, could it be a cylinder head? <gasps> it's got two spark plugs. A little bit big for a cylinder head. Maybe it's a cylinder head that also contains the cylinder. Do, do, do. But wait, what is this? There's only one hole at the top. And there should be at least four. Oh, maybe it's a four-stroke cylinder and cylinder head with no valves. <laughs> Watch the birdie. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a hole. Where does this hole go? I wonder. Do, 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 do. Oh, look, it lines up with the cylinder. Oh my good God, what is going on? And it rotates. Revolutionary. Right, this is one of my prototype um, engines, parts of it anyway. Um, this is a cylinder and cylinder head combined. Uh, it's four stroke with no pocket valves. Uh, I can have whatever damn compression I like because I've got like a 90% flame burn. So it means I'm burning about 90% of the fuel I put in there. Whereas all you poor car drivers, even in your most advanced BMW M3 with your injection, uh, I reckon you're burning 64% of the fuel at best. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done numbers, so if I'm wrong, please don't get a lane all on me. Um, this is what we call the rotor. This is the new valve. Um, goes in here, comes out here. This lines up with your carburetor. This one lines up with your, uh, your cylinder on the other side. <gasps> burnt gases, burnt gases, burnt gases. I sound like a Dalek. I do Dalek, and when I'm playing Battlefield 3, it's quite good. Exterminate, give me your tank. What do you think of that? Uh, it's got three cooling areas. Uh, it's got a cooling area for the outside rotor. It's got a cooling area for the cylinder. And more importantly, the rotor is cooled. We put water in here, and it comes out here. So as long as the rotor is a couple of degrees cooler than the alloy, it's brilliant. Uh, it's got tough net liner, which is uh, absolutely indestructible. Um, we picked the stainless steel for this rotor because it's got the same expansion as the aluminium and the tough net liner. Uh, fantastic, huh? These are things of the past. Um, this actually fits a KTM 520 and it is for sale, <laughs> although um, you've got to make a few modifications to your engine. Um, did I say a few? Actually, I mean quite a lot. <laughs> uh, enjoy. Other things we do. Uh, other things we do is uh, McCoy's. Cheese and onion crisps, uh, they're very, very nice. And, mmm, better. Thai kick sauce on your cheese and onion crisps. Rocks my world, baby. So I dropped this moped in the other day, said he wanted it tuned. We said, oh yeah, we'll fit a big ball kit to it. Come back in a couple of weeks, mate. Alright. Yeah, anyway, so we finished this guy's moped and uh, we thought we'd add just a uh, big nitrous bottle on the back now. Thought you'd enjoy that. Yeah, so uh, hopefully that should go a little bit quicker and you can legally ride that at 14 in France. <laughs> Look where I am today, uh, up in Mayhem's laser armory. <laughs> Look what I've got to play with. I'm going to take you on a little tour. Uh, later on at lunchtime, we'll go down and we'll have a look at the new CO detail. It's starting to look. Hey, look at what I have to fix today. What we're doing today is we're adding sensors, um, the infrared pickup sensors, to the laser uh, guns here. And uh, to say that there's a few to do is an understatement, as well as um, each circuit board has to have the sensor piggybacked onto it. Oh, what deep joy, what deep joy, what deep joy. Now check out these pistols, they're fantastic. Um, they've got all the same gubbins as the rifles, but they come in a pistol format. Why would anybody want one of the rifles when you can have one of these cool little pistols? I mean, they're fantastic, they're really compact, they're really good shape. I've got to say, man, laser tag has come on so far compared to, look, you see these old big fat old big berthers here? 
compared to these really nice and tidy little jobs there that. Are you being persecuted by zombies? Are you being chased by zombies? Are you going to play a zombie game? You require gummies, paint and tin. Zombie game! <laughs> This is uh, Gomez Paintball Diary of the Mayhem Big Game. We have the Kent boys today in Essex, believe it or not. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> I see this man here, he's brought tea. He's a man after my own art, top stuff. <laughs> now there's Andy performing surgery on a rip clip. <laughs> he's not stressed. <laughs> he's not stressed. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't do the stress like everybody else. <laughs> Hello, my name is Chris. I play paintball. <laughs> <laughs> you already get my that if you've been here. Do, 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 do. I like to stand around you. Step is a little bit too big for me. <laughs> what the fuck is that, man? I think I gotta be in big trouble now. Oh no, I got the king of the jungle. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 